All right, the fun stuff, spindle speed. How do you get it? What do you do in order to achieve the spindle speed you want? Well, very, very simple. Every lathe is a little bit different. Some use belts, you have to change like a manual mill. Others, you, most of them that, uh, especially today, now use handles and some actually uh, use other things than that. But very basic, very simple, they come with a chart. And this chart is telling you how to position these three handles in order to get the spindle speed you want. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay, these are the different spindle speeds that I can achieve. All right, the H on the left stands for high gear, which includes this A and B, which is 1050, 350, 720, 240, 1500, and 500. All right, the low gear is the bottom half of the chart which is 112, 37, 77, 25, 54, and 160. All right, now as you can see right next to the H and L, which is the high and low gear, is A, B, A, B. If you take that A and follow it all the way across, it's 1050, 720, 1500. B is gonna be 350, 240, and 500. Now you can look at this as rows, so H controls these two rows, L controls these two rows, a controls the top row, B controls this row, A controls the third one, and B controls that one. And like I said, every lathe is just a little bit different, but most of them have these charts and they're telling you what to do. Now you see these three handles. As you can see, this handle right here picks which column. So you it picks the right, the center, or the left. Now if notice how I'm not able to actually position that. Well, I actually have to put my hand on the, the chuck and spin the chuck. And as I spin the chuck, I'm able to move this handle and pick which uh, column that I want. So I'm gonna go to 1050. So I'm gonna put it on H. Now I need to be on A in order to get to 1050. And that is this back handle right here, which on the base of the handle, it has A and B. And at the top on this panel, it has A or B. So I pick which one, so I want it on A. So I position the handle towards A. And I'm in high gear is what I need to be in. Right now, on the base of my, this front handle, it's H and L for high and low. I have it on low right now, which is right here. I want to position it on high. So now I'm at 1050. Let's say we want to get to 54, which is in the bottom right hand of my chart. I need to be in low gear, so I'm gonna take this front handle and bring it to low. I need to be at B, so I'm gonna position it to B. And I'm, I'm keeping my hand on the chuck so that I can change, uh, change the gears. Because that's all it's doing. It's rearranging the gears in order to get the spindle speed you want. And I need to be all the way to the right on this handle in order to pick the right column. And that is how you pick the spindle speeds. And we are now going to be moving on to power feeding. In order to power feed, I would highly suggest getting to know your lathe first. Moving it around, changing the spindle speeds, turning a few things, and then when you feel comfortable on your lathe, then you can start to power feed. But until then, be sure that you know what you're doing because it can be very dangerous because the machine does not care whether or not you want to stop the power feed. It only knows if that handle is engaged and it's going to keep going. It doesn't care that the chuck is there. It does not care that you care at all. It's going to keep going no matter what. So be sure that you know what you're doing when it comes to a manual lathe. Other than that, if you guys have any questions, please let us know.